Okay, so the third rule that we have is sum or difference rule. What happens when we add two or more functions together or subtract them and we want to find the integration? Well, the integral of the sum or difference of two functions is the sum or difference of the integral of the two functions. So basically, when we have a string of functions, either they're added or subtracted or a mixture, when we want to find the integral, you take the integral of each function and then you just add it or subtract it as the original function. So let me give you an example. Let's say we have f of x equaling 3x plus 4. What is the integral of that? Well, the integral of 3x plus 4 is basically the integral of 3x plus the integral of 4. We know that the integral of 3x is 3x squared over 2 because we have a constant times a variable. The variable has a power of 1. We add 1 to the power and then whatever number we get, we put it on the bottom plus the integral of 4. 4 is a constant. The integral of a constant is 4 times whatever we are integrating in respect to. Here we are integrating in respect of x, so it becomes 4x. So the integral of 3x plus 4 is 3x squared over 2 plus 4x. And don't forget we have a plus constant right here, but we are not writing it for simplicity. Also, let's say we have this example, 8x minus 5. What is the integral of this? Well, the integral of 8x minus 5 is the integral of 8x minus the integral of 5. We know that the integral of 8x is 8x squared over 2, and the integral of 5 is 5x, so it is 8x squared over 2 minus 5x, and this is equal to 4x squared minus 5x, because this 8 goes with this 2, this 8 becomes 4, the 2 becomes 1, so it becomes 4x squared minus 5x, so this is the integral of 8x minus 5. Basically, we take the integral of each function separately, and then we put whatever, either we have minus sign or plus sign in between. Lastly, let's say we have this example, f of x equals 6x to the 5, minus x plus 3. What is the integral of this? Well, the integral is the integral of each function. So the integral of 6x to the 5 minus the integral of x plus the integral of 3. We know that it becomes 6x to the 6 over 6 minus x squared over 2 plus 3 x and this becomes x to the 6 minus x squared over 2 plus 3x because this 6 will go with this 6. So we will have x to the 6 minus x squared over 2 plus 3x. If you want to make sure that this is actually the integration, try to find the derivative of this function. So when you find the derivative, it becomes 6x to the 5 minus 2x over 2 plus 3. It becomes 6x minus this 2 will go with this 2 minus x plus 3. 3, just like we will have it right here. So as you can see, we did the integration correctly, and the integral of 6x to the 5 minus x plus 3 is x to the 6 minus x squared over 2 plus 3x. And don't forget the constant right here, plus constant. So basically, this is the sum or difference rule. The integral of the sum or difference of two functions is the sum or difference of the integral of the two functions. When you have a string of functions, either you have summation or subtraction, basically you take the integration of each function and then you put the signs in between as you have it in the original function. So this is about this rule. Let's check out the fourth rule.